this guy streams Magic the Gathering, if I'm not mistaken. Which I find funny, because that's also what I'm doing. So, a pretty, pretty fun coincidence. Creeping target usually means some amount of counter spells, which is somewhat uncomfortable for me. I would rather not see counter spells, of course. Um, well, but the rule is that you have to jump the first one. Because it's not gonna get better. Remand. Remand is acceptable. Probably gonna jump again next turn. Why are we playing Spine again? It condenses slots. Ooh, I guess I won. But yeah, it condenses slots because if you look at my exact deck list, it is a copy of what Jadot is playing and you get to play three cards total and you free up a slot. And it's better in some corner cases. I mean, like, as of now, I'm legitimately believing that it's just good. So maybe I've gone too too far. And maybe I'm just plainly stupid, but... It condenses the second mirror and the second spell bomb. Hey, Skura. I hope you will enjoy this stream. That's my uh, avid fan. Mm. I hit some bricks. Still have mana from this. Let's just cycle, cycle further. Like it's not the most. Although let's actually see. Because I can probably spine here. Maybe I can spine twice. And then I leave him with just a single field of ruin. He's cried. Um, bottom twice, bottom twice, so quad bottom and play the field of ruin untapped which like slightly points towards not too many lands left let's see if I play citadel and I give up on the ability to buy back a a core wasp, I should be able to play spine once regardless Let's just go a little further. Maybe I will find a troller. Yeah, see, exactly. Aren't those both slots that are just cutable anyway? Not sure you need to replace them with anything. That's partly true, but not to the fullest because well I guess I have the loop now many loops because they are not truly fully cut cutable because then you are losing to random things like relic of progenitus exiling your spell on for example or scavenging goose and like I was always of the opinion that it is worth to give up those uh, give up those small percentages and just try to get with as low like as few things as you can get away with but that's not actually like that turned out to be not possibly not the most win percentage uh, not the best win approach win percentage wise because random things do happen kind of frequently actually like every every so often you are like oh well i would I'd like to have an answer for this i would like to not fall to an extraction in this spot i would like not to 
behave weirdly because I drawn my spell bomb and uh, my opponent exiled with Fort Not Seer. Or might exile it with Fort Not Seer. And Spine is better than like Reservoir. Spine is definitely much better than Reservoir because Spine has actual uses and you gain the extra. Well, maybe there is something better than Spine. Maybe you can play the. Like people were suggesting the combo with Fopter Foundry. But that sounds kind of bad to me. Spine is a one card combo that loops with Troller in most scenarios. And in addition to that, it also. You know, you also have outs versus ley line of the void, extra outs versus ley line. Not truly extra outs versus stony because you cannot cast it under stony, but a ley line has happened to me. Reservoir had actual uses. Well, then spine has more broad uses. I do want to leave mind stones against a blue black deck, I think. I'm not sure if I want any ease or not. It is awkward because the fairies are creatures. Its size is good. Possible extractions. I don't think they, they run Layla of the Void. And if they do, then let be it. Alright, let's get one Mindstone for, for space. I think I want my counter still because Cryptic is still present in the deck. Yeah, I guess it's not fair to say that Reservoir, Reservoir had no uses because it had some uses, but. I think it's fair to say that the uses were not of the. They were not the. Neither consistent or. Coming up too often. Mm, no Dark Soul Citadel. The question is how much of those do I want to play? Sai is getting countered by the fairy, anyways. Maybe I want to cast the Mox Appel. I can believe Spine has a bit more utility, but the traits of being mostly much worse draw. Reservoir is very castable and sackable. Well, I think that... Well, if you need to, if push comes to shove, you can do things like replaying Spine twice. If you don't need to, then you won't do that. So it frequently looks as, it's, as if it's not castable, but... I also had situations where situations where it, as I said push comes to shove and you need to cast it and and then you cast it you kill a land or a paramount and then you replay it so yeah spells the sprite is a problem but then then it's cryptic time Probably not gonna work. Just kinda rude, like opponent just taking advantage of the fact that they are on the play. Maybe I'm getting clicked, which is insanely nice. Well right on time, friend. Taking my mocks up out, weirdly enough. I'm slightly surprised by that choice. Okay, didn't find a land, so let's just take a Ironworks. Alternative way of looking at it is Reservoir helps you combo in low resource spots where the spine is useless. Well, not... Tr Again, slightly disagree, because it helps you combo in low resource spots. Where you are very low on mana, but if you are lower on cards, which is more often the choking point actually, then spine provides more use. Again, I'm not saying that I know for sure, but it is tricky. I'm just gonna draw a shit ton. Why don't you change the bubble back to spell bomb? Because I just played a little bit with it and my um, 
I mean, I didn't learn anything too conclusive about it, so... I want to keep playing with it. Also, like, if I'm playing Spine, it makes sense to not play the second spell. Okay. Fine. Wow, it was... Bounce... Bounce draw? Okay. Didn't even notice that it was Bounce draw for some reason. Surprised it was not a counter draw. But I guess he wants to draw a card. That will do something. So let's let's just trade off. Because if I trade off then uh, he only has two fairies, so spell satter doesn't work. I guess he can activate Mutavolt. How about Briber Spurs? Yeah, Briber Spurs is a thing against Anglers. I need to read the card again. It's kinda wonky. X gem counters on it. Huh. Well, let's play a Ironworks. If the cryptic command happens, it's fine. If the negate happens, I'm not sure what to do. But I think that with the threat density in my hand, I might negate back. That's also slightly better against surgical extraction. Only like I'm getting punished by a spell starter then. But I'm getting punished by spells that are anyways. Like spells that counters my spell anyways. At some point. So in a gate, like I might just resolve my thing. Okay, I just resolved my thing. I don't know, for some reasons lately I feel like I learned a little bit better how to play those blue matchups or... Or maybe they are just drawing... Much less counter spells because I jump my things and they just resolve. And it's easy. Some time ago I was jamming my things and they were like, Okay, let me remind that. Okay, now mana leak. Well, let's add a spell cooler into my deck to make it even harder. Nowadays they just don't do shit. It's another blue one. Sulfur Falls, Storm. Does Storm play Sulfur Falls? I don't think so, right? So it's probably blue, blue red thing. Can you qualify it at all? I mean qualify as in check, if that's the case. I probably am able to do that in Mumort. Yeah, that's the thing that I just learned. Mm, let's play Terrarion, not Terrarion, Wellspring. Ah! Always getting you. A freaking spell snare. I mean, explain why you thought it might be the case. Well... Yeah, it is, it is possibly the case because I... Feel like I learned how to play it and like... I more correctly identify I went to jump the KCI and went to hold it back and try to go for a double KCI into double KCI turn if I can. Yes, I am streaming early. I'm not uh, going to school right now. But I'm missing land drop, so. Well, if they have land drops, they have spells, they probably have remains too. So I don't really want to let them cycle. Just like that. Especially since I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 mana. So I make like 6 and 7 and 8 into their 4 mana. Or even better. Let's cycle this to see if I draw a land or not. And that information let me spend this steering on preferably mana source.
well, no, I don't want to concede this game. That would be less than ideal. So I have 7 mana next and I can have 8. You can see mana screwed open and I can take my time. And again, like lighting them, cycle remains is actively bad for me. I guess the worst thing would be a... a oh, Polterinas. Would be a... a Brade on Mindstone. Land. Okay, neat. That should be a GG. Either remained or mana licked. When I choose this remand, I'm like, ha, oh, I have two KCIs. Wait, I don't even need to. Ah, the beautiful game of Magic the Gathering. I guess the correct thing to do will be to not play my land at first because I still have 7 mana so I pay for a mana leak anyways. Yeah, that, that's probably true. And if they actually mana leaked, instead of doing what they did with remand I would be able to pay for... play my utility land. And now I'm suffering from a Flutterino. Thought briefly of passing. But I'm probably getting there with an extra Wellspring. If I'm not, then it's probably gonna be fine anyways. But I was slightly scared upon the braid. I mean, yeah, like beating a mana screwed opponent is... Not exactly rocket science. Although it is some science. Neat. And they try they have two wellsprings. I have a wellspring and a second wellspring, yeah. That's got there, got through the uh, um How's it called? It's not called deep throat. It's the opposite. Narrow. <sighs> hey. You can choose spine to finish it slightly quicker. So you can observe how useful spine is in online play. And you can nod. And be like, oh, spine is great, yeah, it's a great idea, Kalister. Very nice. Now you're going to execute the 2 1 mana star slope? No, I have the. I mean, I had the second troll in my graveyard. Like, did you have to go for the actual wonky loop so rarely that. I'm not even sure. Like, I'm not sure off the top of my head how to nicely perform them so I have to think every time I see one and I'm like oh was that the way trying not to make a mistake because a mistake would be fatal why show them the spine you already had the loop I mean why not show them the spine that should be the question and yes bottleneck was the good word to use here did you miss the popper yesterday I went 4-3 ended up in top uh, top 32 so i got my entry fee back and i got a great well 
a huge amount of fun along the way. Oh, Jess guy, okay. Surprising. Sulfur Falls, Sulfur Falls, Lightning Bolt Spell, Setting Man. I was sure that my opponent is going to be playing a Bloom on deck. So I could actually gain some info by not playing this Hallowed Fountain. I would not board any... I would not board any... Nature's Claims, but now I will, so... This is why I play Spine, so my opponent would play the Hallowed Fountain if they are playing it. 100% conscious decision. How many great things can you do with 10 mana using just commons? I mean, you can cast more drifters, mostly. And wall of something. That was a huge leak from my opponent, unless they don't have Stony at all, in which case, genius. <laughs> yeah, if they literally have no targets for that, then it's a very high IQ play. Oh, frisky. Burst lightning too, that's awkward. What does that mean? Because my opponent is both playing blue red cards and it's playing a hallowed fountain. Well that I there was there is some like blue moon decks splashing for a stony silence. It's ascension. Does Ascension play spells there? Just kind of mentor? I mean, I. Now it could be anything. I will let my opponent show me an extra land. Is there like. giving me some useful info? I mean, useful. I'm confused right now, so maybe it's not useful. Maybe it's actually... That might be mono blue moon with white for something like timely reinforcements. Stony rest in peace. Yeah, I mean, those are the most likely cards to splash for. The life gain effects or the hate effects. I want to see cards. My opponent seems to be willing to keep playing, so... It's kind of silly, but... <laughs> Let's pass. Like, maybe they will actually play Pyromaster's Ascension or something weird again. I don't know if Opt is frequently played in Jeskai. I probably should know that. I just don't. Why would you play Burst Lightning in Jessica? Yeah, that kinda. kinda doesn't make sense. But I think that like Ascension is also not all that likely, right? Can you crack a fetch, friend? <laughs> it's like a... Okay, it is all a lighthouse... Is it? Island... Platinum. Okay, now I know everything that I wanted to know, thank you. Thank you for your time. So it's Breach, probably? 
No, I mean, pair sliding does not make me think through the bridge. It makes me think possible enchantments. At least there's a blood wound that you can target with Nature's Claim, so... Not sure I want to cut all the explosives, I kinda want to. I already have 61 though. Maybe I can get away with just two claims. Spino Visha. Maybe I can cut the Mishas Bobiola. Bobiola is good if my opponent doesn't have Stony, it's not good if my opponent does have Stony. So I know there is that. Could just ignore the mirror. Spellbone seal kills click, which is neat. Okay, let's keep this. Is Spine no longer a meme card? No, I think it's a real card now. It just like suddenly advanced from being a meme card into... Seems like a matchup where you could do without Spine. Yeah, this one I'm unsure about whether I would rather have no Spine or no Mare. You're probably right. But Mare is also, like, kinda poor to draw. And I think that Spine is more neat. It's like more self-contained combo cards if you are low from low on resources from having all of those nature's claims and negates in your deck. Then the Mare is. And then, since I have Spine, I can do the thing. Oh, V-Click. Well, at least you have to take my KCI. Maybe I, will, I can draw a Psy instead or something. How are you? I'm spineless. I'm also thirsty. But I won't stop. Well, I assume it's fairly... Well, maybe you can take a mox up all here. Oh, that sounds slightly wonky. Possibly slightly worse than taking KCI. Ha! Ah. God there. I can only play one artifact, but you know, artifact is the next big thing. Apparently. By a beer, it's 1 am 25 in Poland and. This is such an awkward hour to drink beers. Would not make me feel uh, great to drink at that hour. It's usually... It's usually... Connected with... You know, being a old drunk person. PM? Yeah, it's PM, yeah, not AM. It's true. Where in Poland? I live in Poznan. I've got a title for you, The Greatest Stream in the World Tribute. I don't understand this. Is this supposed to be funny? Can I just play Troller? I don't have any artifacts in my graveyard, so it's kinda bad. Can I just use Psy to sacrifice a Thopter in a Ecor Wellspring? Is it Tenacious D reference? I hate Tenacious D. Poznan is warm, I guess no drink is no good. Yeah, it's also like I put the clickbait, clickbait title thing in the title. Mm. Probably a wellspring, since I have Psy. Putting Spy on the bottom. No, kinda hard to do this, but no reason to attack with Psy. I'm not going to attack with my top there. Oh, my opponent should have some trouble killing Psy. A pair sliding costs 5 mana. That allows me to combo off. Why clickbait? Are you like a prostitute? Well... I do not sell sexual... 
uh, services. So I'm not like exactly a prostitute, but if I'm like a prostitute, well... Depends on what you exactly are asking about. But that's not the thing that I had would come to mind immediately. Um, it's probably fine, right? Like, spell center of this spell could be kinda awkward, and I still can play the wellspring and be okay. So let's not negate back. I guess it's fine, I mean, if you are in need. <laughs> Plus, you are kind of working. Yeah, your messages are slightly confusing to me, but in a interesting sense. Those are useless. That's okay. Literally fucking with people on stream with your silly deck. It's funny because if you change one letter in the word deck, then it sounds like... Leak. <sighs> Guess my friend played a, an extra Steam event on top, so like that points towards a an ability to negotiate with that. Yeah, they had the dispel. But then there's an extraction is fine. If extraction is still probably okay. Okay, got extracted on that. So maybe that was too aggressive since I've seen other opponent was doing that. Should sp still probably get there with my trollers. The only problem is that they are drawing ancestral vision and I'm like down I negate, which I would otherwise have access to. There are 12 life, and this is a free counter, so it's probably okay. Probably not sucking anything end of turn proactively. Although I could get rid of a citadel, but mana is useful. It's like I'm kinda only floating one mana throughout the turn. Maybe I was not supposed to play the Moxapal, and there's an extra top there. So that's why it was attractive. I could have probably arranged a situation where I had buried ruin. Buried Ruin Untapped for the entire time. You had a free attack with Cider Scrap. No, I did attack pre combat. I mean, I did attack uh, before I cast my spells, so. I. For the entire game, I didn't want to risk Psy to lose. risk losing Psy to a Lightning Bolt, because that's kinda. Unnecessary. So I wanted to avoid that. Like specifically. So no Vita. Not truly. It was not a free attack. Maybe I could have cast my spells pre-combat. That, that is a an argument, but not entirely sure either. Hey Giba. Size is huge, you have a loop, scrub is fine. No, there was no loop there. I have no KCI, so I can't really loop. Although I guess I can make infinite top touch if I have some things. Not sure how exactly. Let's see, if I have Scrap Troller, Mox Mox, One Drop, One Drop. What's just setting the MTGO chat, okay. Yeah, I had a loop before, that was a game before. Let my opponent know and uh, let them do whatever they wanted with, to do with that information. They chose to not do anything. You need a Retriever for that, okay.
could have subbed Matt. Yeah, I definitely could have subbed Matt. The greatest player. And the best uh, MTG personality. Sister Vision is on one. So I guess EE is a problem. Anchor of the Gods probably not in the deck. EE not the huge problem I can rebuild. Is Matthew Fox still streaming? Anything? I have not seen that happening. And I have him on my list of followed channels. Let's keep that milestone around. Or you know, spy back the Wellspring? You follow, it was a pleasure, have a nice season Poland guy, thank you very much. I appreciate your support and the fact that you stepped by and and said things. 9, 10, 11 uh tag chase one two three four five six so if they bolt well i guess i only need to attack with five then and attack nightmare 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 Right, but let's not attack with the scrap trap because that's straight for the snapcaster. Maybe it's just not attack with Sai. I have two extra size in my hand, but like if my pen has a stupid extraction or anything like that, no reason to risk it. Last time you saw him he was playing blackjack and telling his mom it was easy money. Then he tweeted about playing online slot ma machines. Slot machines are just something I cannot. Just something I cannot even not a fan of those. Ooh, a brother. Well. So. In response. You side sacrifice this troller and this wellspring. And I can get a zero. One. Wellspring. Wellspring? It's a lot of cards. Well, my opponent is like suffering through all of that to use your ancestral vision. But I guess it's my answer, but I need to discard some of those. Well, too bad. You can't fight on them, you watch fields of people playing them, and not one looks happy. Endless fields, and they just keep playing. Yeah, yeah. One one friend of mine is frequently playing slot machines, but like jokingly, in very sparse uh, amounts. Good luck. Maybe you can find something. You miss him breaking the standard meta. It really helped you spike a few turns. You see, it was funny how it actually had a pretty big effect on how the European GP. GP's metagame looked. It's like probably most of the intermediate plus players followed what he did. I guess I could keep this. Kinda wonky, maybe too bad. Dlaczego po upgrade wróciły ci aż cztery karty? Because, yes, because I used Sai to sacrifice both Scrap Choller and wow, I haven't seen this one in a while. 
I used Scythe to sacrifice both Scrap Troller and Ichor Wellspring. So I had two Scrap Trollers on the battlefield while I was sacrificing those. Therefore, I get four triggers, two from each Troller. Wasteland Strangler. Okay, so I'm playing a shit deck, but they have hate cards, so it's kinda scary. Stop using Russian on this chat, boys. Russian is actually a very, really welcome catch. Let's play the Wellspring first. I might want to put EE on two with my opponent. Plays like Thalia. Or maybe they just play Wasteland Strangler, and I'm like, well, I'm really strangled. Thalia though, so I don't think I want to cycle that into the Photon Seer turn. Although I was mistaken, it was actually a Reality Smasher turn. I'm at 13 lives, if they play an extra waste, uh, Reality Smasher, I kinda die. By kinda die, I mean I die. So, what are the odds of a second Reality Smasher? Because if I just... Like, I can just... Use Inventor Sphere. I could also cycle the Chromatic Sphere. Before that. The problem is that if I don't hit a land, I don't know whether I should. Or like, I kinda, I, I then I activate Winter uh, Sorcery Speed and then I'm actually also weak to Fault Not Seer. Given that my opponent kept this hand, well that's not really a huge deal. It could be a one smasher hand easily too. To play around a two smasher hand, I would need to cycle the Chromatic Sphere, play Mirror Retriever, Cycle a Mind Surround of Turn and try to hit a KCI and those cards. They probably don't have a Thought Not Seer. Because the only combination in which they play Reality Smasher there over a Thought Not Seer, I think, is a combination where they have f Smasher, Smasher, Thought Not Seer. And that, this one is kinda tough. This one kinda gets me. Anyways. That, or maybe they want to be super, super mana efficient, which is not unheard of. Some people value being mana efficient over everything else that they could have experienced. So I guess since they don't have a Thought Not Seer, most likely, I should be fine cycling the Chromatic Sphere. And I see nothing, so I'm just gonna go for that and... I hope that there is no second reality smasher. If you have a better idea, like if you have an idea about whether that play is great or not, you can tell me because I, it's actually interesting. Okay, so I point either had the Thought Not Seer or top decked it. It is possible that my opponent just has a wide range. Because you never know with those people. You know, like, if somebody plays Eldrazi, like, that's kind of a tale that they might might or might not have the clue of what is going on. So me trying to... Go for, like, advanced tales like that might not be the best. This line now kept you dead to Smasher and TKS. Any other line would have led you dead to only one of them. Yeah, it also allowed me to draw a KCI this turn and win against both of them. But I only had one look at that, so... I only had one look at that, or I drew a land, in which case I was still playing around. Thought so this is why I thought that I was... Uh, able to cycle that Chromatic Sphere. I ended up drawing another sphere, which was the like worst case scenario. Drawing a non KCI non land card. Of course, there is a lot of those in my deck. So it was kind of convoluted and not easy. It is possible that I shouldn't have done that. You could have done that no matter what if you didn't have Smasher, right? Could have, could have done what exactly? Thinning one out of your deck made it less likely, if anything. No, 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 I was saying about cycling the sphere the turn before, not this turn. I was cycling a sphere on turn 4. Because I could have 
top deck AKC with my chromatic sphere cycle on turn 4. On turn 5 we had an extra cycle because I drew a land. It was kinda tricky, I, I don't know. Also not sure if my opponent's playing white or not. Maybe the correct line then was to EOT Sack Sphere since they played a smash on turn 3. That's also possible, I didn't give that enough attention. That's certainly a line that was possibly Gucci. That, I, that only came to me after I did not cycle it and saw what, I, what I've done. So Sai is in general kinda good because Fod not Seer. But it's also kind of bad because Reality Smasher. Reality Smasher smashes... Smashes... Uh, Psy kind of well. I'm not sure if my opponent's playing white or not. I only have seen a matter reshape of my Mishra's Bubble. If they're playing white then I would probably go for the full... Plus uh, 11 sideboard. If they're playing mono black Eldrazi? No, like it has to be Eldrazi Texas, right? I just drew a many temples and Eldrazi's. Like it's also wonky because Smasher cannot trump the top there's anyways. But not always. And like the lightning bolts do not match up the best against Eldrazi themselves. Like it takes a lot of work to combine Psy and Lightning Bolt to kill a reality smasher, it's, it's not reliable in the slightest. But they play a bunch of Thalias and Kambals. Wonder what actually happened on my opponent's side, if they just like didn't give it much thought and just played Reality Smasher because they had 5 mana and it's a faster card so they went to get it or if they actually just top decked it. Interesting stuff. Inquisition, okay that's the Eldrazi White Black Eldrazi deck. It's not Eldrazi in Taxes, so like they are not running the wonkiness card. Title of Scala. That lingering souls probably. Wonder if I should play Scrap Tuller here. Path to Exile is a thing that could happen. It's the most mana efficient and then it's not getting Photon Seer, then the Photon Seer gets either this or this, and I do not get to, I do not need to cycle into the Photon Seer. It rarely dies. If my opponent is enchanted, then they got me good. And I don't get my star back. Like most often it survives in this spot and I don't know. Could be useful. Okay, it took ancient things fairly quickly, interestingly. So those bolts suck in my deck, probably. They really do suck. I might try to combine some cards to like 2 for 1 myself to kill this. Like block controller, get this back. Maybe kill the Smasher, but like probably killing the Photon Seer instead, if I'm killing anything at all. Also use a claim to cycle, get an extra star, get the Wellspring back. That means that I'm cycling a lot of cards. Which is a somewhat attractive proposition. Not sure yet if I want to trade, let's see what I draw. Spine of Isha. Well, I'm at 5 mana, maybe at 6 and then 7, so that incentivizes me to kill the Photon Seer. And since my bolts probably suck. Let's also cycle this Photon Seer. That was a nice. Nice uh, little card advantage.
And I'm actually able to spine the guy next turn. I'm fetching a planes for some reason. If I draw a side, it's still great, so let's play this because then I can cycle. It's kinda bad against a potency here exactly. Or fault seas. I mean no, it's not bad against fault seas. Then got the stony silence and suddenly my cards have no effect over having an effect. Cannot even play this eye. Ay 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 ay. This also has the old wording, so I cannot stop the Tide Hollow Scaler from performing game actions here. Oh, that's just rude. Okay, my point confused me with the deck choice and with some plays. They also like managed to draw some cards in a fortunate order. They also didn't use the deck to engage here, they definitely should have. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I guess maybe not. So yeah, Bolt should not have been in my deck then. Not used to the Eldrazi deck. It was a thing... Ooh, hey, long while ago. Hey, long while ago. Not lately. Maybe you should advertise the trophyless nature of the stream. I mean, my plan is to soon change that... To soon change that uh, quality of my stream. And provide with some match wins. Not only game actions, but also match wins. So far I'm, fa I'm failing at that, of course. Well, I guess I'm 2-1, so like, not nothing too... Too terrible. You know, plat means nothing without empty Joe trophies. I am perfectly aware of that. I value... Empty Joe trophies much more than I value... The platinum status. It's actually like not even that. I'm not even joking that much. Only slightly. They even asked me. And the interview for the Hyria Pros thing. Who is the magic player that you respect? Well, I pointed towards those two guys, I guess. I don't know, there's something in that. That gets to me. Those empty geo persons. Uh, this hand lacks lands. This one does not. Ooh. This was a deck before Psy, right? Yeah, you are absolutely right. It was a deck. I think Psy made it much, much better because you can board it in against everybody and it's great against everybody. But well, that's not necessarily entirely true, but it's good against most things. It's like empty the warrants for storm. I guess keeping the star on top was a punishment in this matchup. Not a huge one though, so I will manage. If no goblin guide, I kinda get a free start and one. I have the EE to blow up the Eidolon. I might blow up the Goblin Guide. Probably cycling both. Probably cycling, cycling both. It's a slow hand if they... Well, I made two green, but... Wanted to make it red. It's not gonna hurt because I have this. Yeah, that's either a slow hand since they did suspend that, or they are going to bolt me end of turn. My hand is a lot of cyclers. If they had the idol, they would just play the idol. Yeah, like you don't sandbag it like that. Doesn't make sense. If I play this, then it takes a while for me to cycle, but I'm at 16, they have no creatures. They need to top deck more creatures. If they top deck an Eidolon... Well, Eidolon is hard for me to answer anyways, because then I go to... 13, 
this hits me down to 11, I potentially go to 8 end of turn. They have 3 other cards in hand. I am ee that. Because then I go to 10, and they have 3 cards and I have 10 life. So that's... They draw the 4th card. Assuming that they are going to bolt me end of turn, maybe they just won't. Okay, their hand is very heavy on two drops then. They play an idol on now, I'm either confused or... Confused or angry. Or probably both, because I have very... Big issues with anger control, right? As you can see from my stream, I frequently have outbursts. Don't drink from the wellspring, yeah. Ikor Wellspring actually looks kind of like the lungs of a smoker. When I got there with the Eidolon, unfortunately drew it. I have ways. I have ways. I can play this, then I can fetch a spell bomb. If Boros Charm happens, that's unfortunate. I can fetch a spine, possibly. Maybe that's a time for spine. I lead on KCI definitely. Then if I go Okay. Responding in a way. Interesting. School cracking me. Well I did gain one life in my upkeep, so probably not the best time. can lead by sucking the Terrarion through a land. I can then suck a Moxopal, which I didn't want to do. I did that by accident, but I will manage. Let's see. Maybe I can get a Troller and just combo off natu the natural way. If I get a Troller, sacrifice the Dark Citadel, play the Moxopal, go to... Go to 6 life. They have one colored mana floating and still have the wellspring and a chromatic sphere and a steering. So then I sacrifice the mox up. I guess it's already sacrificed. I cycle the sphere, get the mox back, cycle the go to four life because I played the mox. I played the EE on two. I'm not sure if I have enough mana or not. One, two, three, four. So like I sacrifice, I use my mana pool to use up the inventor sphere. Then I sacrifice Citadel, play Mox, go to 6. I have 2 mana floating and a troller. Tap Mox for green, sacrifice Mox, 4 mana floating, 4 colorless floating, 1 green, play scrap troller, 1 1, 1 colorless, 1 green floating, go to 4, cycle chromatic sphere for Black, get engine with explosives. Play explosives, go to two. Sacrifice wellspring, gain two mana. I'm at two life. I have no mana left and no artifacts left. So it might actually be the time for a spine. Let's start by sacrificing the wellspring then. And let's be cognizant of the fact that I need to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I go to 6 life with Spine and play. They have one card left. It could be a... It could be a Searing Blaze. They need 2 burn spells to kill me I'm probably sucking the spine again getting it back cycling the sphere and steering for a wellspring I think wellspring is better than a moxopal the moxopal is a short mana best for this extra spine but probably wellspring is gonna be better in the long run 
Let's say conspicuous looking spine of not reservoir. Well, keep in mind I got skull cracked this turn. Next idle on. I might need to go to two. So let's see, this is plus one mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably didn't need to play this land that early. I'm just banking on the fact that that's a sitting place. And that my opponent's... Uh, through the idol on the top. Well, that was pretty clear because otherwise, otherwise they would just play it. Maybe they are going to kill me if I borrow so many spawns, and there is nothing that could have been done around about that. Will this stream be archived? Every st every single one of my streams is archived on Twitch for however long they get archived, which is I think like two weeks or maybe slightly more. And some of my streams get updated now to my YouTube channel which I guess probably should be should be more visible because they, well there are some videos there just like my broadcast but slightly edited but it's really taking their time here one two three four five six it's extremely unpleasant to do. But if I play Warspring, I cannot play any card that I draw. So I think my opponent kinda got me by drawing double Eidolon. Now they have a clear way to top the key card, and I am taking ages. Like they have two draw steps to draw something. Maybe they won't. Problem is if they draw a sitting blaze ever. Well, it only matters if they draw a land to accompany it. So I guess draw a Boros Champ opponent. Free mana. Rift Bolt, okay. Okay. That was a good draw. You can load, they don't draw a land, you probably don't win either. No, I win if they win, draw more sitting places or if they do something like that. But I can also spine their lands so they cannot cast their spells. And But I know that you are not a believer in spines, so... I understand that. I need to spell them there. Um, but I have the loop. Wow, my point was almost faster. You have to suffer. What if I'm having fun? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a confusing, like, that's my point sending confusing si signals. That's even more spy than the sliver. Oh, it seems like my opponent is actually a fun guy. Not to confuse with mushrooms. But yeah, you have to suffer, it's pretty funny. So I won four claims because Bern and Eidolon. And on the draw I want some Bolterinos. E never works. Spine... I am a believer in Spine. Like, I kinda want to cut all of these because he is on the draw against Bern, they never work as well as you would like to. And now that I have bolts to like be able to stime the Ellie monster to get some mindstones because they are uh, liability against a liability against destructive rivalry. What's Spine for? Spine combos with KCI and Shrub Troller. And has some utility outside of that. It can kill ley lines, it can kill Eidolons. It loops with Scrap similarly to Mirror Retriever. 
but can also kill hate permanents and is very fun to use. And I have to say that the fact that it's very fun to use is kind of a thing. But it is also... A, I also still believe that it's legitimately adds to the deck. I'm not sure about this hand on the draw. I won't get punished against Ben for drawing all of my basics, but I'm not gonna get rewarded for that either, because where there's no reward for that, it's not a competition. So I just have like three lands with no text and cyclers. Weak to Stony, weak to Eidolon. I've tuned into your KCI streams a couple times and Spine has seemed pretty good. Yeah, some people also say that it looked pretty good when it was very moot. So, like, it's always hard to... Separate that, all of that. Because as, as I said, I'm a sucker for flash win conditions too. And... Some people are even more sucky for those than I am. And if you show them a nice win condition that does some bullshit things, they will, they will be like, Wow, this is so insane, it's so good! While in reality, any single card in that spot would win. It's not an easy, it's not like that easy to always know that, but... Okay, Swift Spear, Spike, no, Rift Bolt. I'd like to draw a Bolterino, maybe, to stop the bleeding. Just drew a double KCI. Uh, Steering early is kind of awkward. Maybe I can get a Mox. Opal it doesn't have a great relevance though. I think a Citadel has a relevance though. So that's neat. Allows me to draw a Mox Opal next turn. For context, you watched like 5 matches maybe. It was never dead and it was actually good. Not replaceable and you think 2 of those. Okay. It's, I guess it matches my... Mostly matches my experiences too. It provides outs and spots and... Well, you have to run some win conditions to begin with anyways. So I'm kinda dead unless he has no spells and no spells are getting thrown. I just hope that that's gonna be the case. I probably should have cycled this sphere anyways, right? Not even because of bolt. But I might use extra mana. Okay. It doesn't actually cost mana to cycle. Let's see, my opponent has a way to deal in the last point, maybe a distracted revelry or something. I, I guess Revelry doesn't deal damage to me, so... Let's see if I can... Throw out of this. Clay Merino. I have 5 mana. Can play the spell one for 1 extra mana. So I can have 7 mana, I can spine a guy, but then I don't have the mana for... Uh, the nature's claim, so I'm gonna just get back a star, hoping to find a mox, maybe. Or a troller. If I, have a, if I find a troller, I just combo off. So I guess you could say that in this spot, a second mirror retriever would be just better. Since it looks like... Since I didn't draw moxen, and the mana is my bottleneck. Well, it seems to be a really unlucky person on average. Two. But I need him to blank again. Possibly I could have produced a second green. But no. I only learned about, about the fact that I'm going to draw the second claim later on. When I drew it. So well, let's cross my fingers that no burn spell is getting drawn again. 
That was kind of poor. Spine being a clunker here. And a slightly flooded hand. And no Moxon hand. And no Troller hand. Troller hands are probably the most, the ones that you should disregard the most because who cares? You're winning anyways. What's that? Why is this a matchup where we even have spine in post sport? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really gonna remove stone. Yeah, I could remove rest in peace with it. But that might be a weak argument. What? Okay. Got me. So they are using relics. If I are using relics, I guess Spine is not even winning against them. Problem is that if they have relics, they can like exile my spell bomb on Merit River, and then I cannot loop, and then it's kind of poor. I might be unable to win, especially with no explosives. That is solved by a single sigh in the deck. And if I draw my entire deck, then I also have the claims. But is sigh better than Spine of Isha? Well, I don't think so. Should I have a explosives in my deck on the play over the Bolterinos? Probably. If they have relics too, then I can kill more one drops. You'd bet that it is, it gives you material early and it blocks. Okay, let's... Let's get Psy into the deck then. One copy. Explosives is Gucci on the play. Claims are kinda tough, but good to have, or like... Maybe more like necessary to have. If they are using Greggs, they are probably not using Rest in Peace, so I can make that swap. And I can submit the deck. Tricky. Bolt seems better than explosives to you. I think it's play draw dependent, possibly. Not sure why I would cut those. I cut my stones because they are a card that's actually weak to Destructive Reverly, which people used to board against me a lot, but I have not seen a green Shockland from my opponent yet, so it's possible they're just not playing green anyways. And I'm just getting, getting got. Oh, it's a Moxopal, okay. Moxopal is fine. My son is tricky because like it's the only card in the deck that's actually weak to disenchants, to shatters. You don't think it's weak to Leverly? Well, I do. <laughs> I mean, it is a only card that's where Reverly is actually good. That's what I mean. Like it's not. Greatly weak to revelry. The Mox. But also, otherwise, you are able to present a deck that actually does not have great targets for Reverly. I guess Moxopal is still a good target. It's not very nice. I couldn't have played the KCI this turn, right? Yeah, I couldn't have. Reverly we have buy them buy them a turn, even if they don't get to point it at Mindstone. It's true. Not always true if they just point at KCI. Like I'm not too worried of that. So 
I don't really have a loop here. Probably still interested in deploying the KCI, right? They have three cards left. Yeah, I would just die next turn. I would play the Opal. It's tricky if they burn this, for example, in the spawns, but that's a you know high level play which I'm not expecting. I have only lands in my hand, well then it's very nice. <laughs> yeah, not just reducing turn free potential. Yeah, probably 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 right. I need to revisit my approaches to some to some matchups. I kind of apply a similar pattern to many matchups that are not necessarily similar. I was taught to bring in bolts by Matt Nas too. That also affects me. I tend to listen to people who I think are know possibly knowing more than I do. And I distinctly remember that Matt Nas in his support guide was saying that he was bringing in a bunch of bolts against Bern. Also, my opponent did some nice chatting here, but disappeared now. But I, I wish them luck on the in their new way of life without magic to get hang online and stuff like that. In general, more than four claims is possibly just straight up overboarding versus Bern. You could have very clearly seen that even the fact that I had just those four claims came up and I was drawing a lot of them and it impeded me from comboing off last game. Maybe it was also Spine that impeded me. Ooh, Laplacian. <sighs> Laplacian is the Polish guy who jumps company over and over and over and over. I often die to his cards. I could keep it, but it's not particularly attractive, so I guess I'll just mulligan it. I would need to steal for a land and play this and then like play those, hope that I cycle into something, maybe say stinker. Yeah, just mulligan. This one has a KCI, it's much nicer. And like I'm expecting a expecting dealing to dealing with Oh neat. That's very neat. So I'm trying to go for a turn free kill because Devoted Druid can get me. Well, that's a fairly weak hand. I mean, maybe he's playing something different, but I would assume assume not. Fitting this to a path to exile would be kinda painful. But I also don't have that much mana. Yeah, and that's an F6. Field of Ruin. <laughs> Dio mio. Expose my land to Field of Ruin unnecessarily. But that is indeed just Abzan. anywhere so I guess since there's no devoted druid in play I just cycle the bomb and replay the mission as well to draw two extra cards I guess that was slightly too preemptive and I was actually gonna flood real badly so it turns out that it was actually an actually sizable mistake for me to Expose that buried ruin when it was not necessary. I could have kept it in my hand and play just play the grow of the burn willows. I knew what my point was, was on, but I forgot that there is a possibility of field of ruin from those decks. I guess it's not really that, not really all that uh, popular either. I think 
I kinda kinda won't negate. I want E to E is most often gonna be set up on two. Which makes Mindstone less attractive. Negate is good against the spells that bring creatures. Like company. It's not always great against company, especially on the draw. So I might just be fine with no negates on the draw. I don't want to overboard too much. Might also get a Misha as well. Often gonna be too relevant, or maybe I just get all the mind stones. Then spine is kinda awkward. But there is scavenging goose and similar. I guess they have cyan bolts. It's close. It is close. Gonna keep this while my opponent is traveling into the Mulligan land. Visiting the depths. Always makes me smile when my opponent's Mulligans. When my opponent Mulligans and I keep a 7 card hand. Because that's what I what I root for every time I play. I'm like, yeah, let's let's have an interesting game, but only interesting enough for it to look interesting to look close to look engaging and not interesting enough for me to lose but i guess that's actually i guess that actually means that i wish for my opponents to move again to six to a, to a mediocre six most of them like on average and not to a poor five because that's just rude Scrape the top, then fetch it away. Tricky, as always. I'm gonna bomb the devoted druid. Mm, this hand has issues, but killing the devoted druid is of a paramount, paramount importance. I kinda want to play East on zero, but like if he plays an ooze, then I want to be able to bolt it end of turn. I have two E's anyways. I know it's close. Maybe not worth it. Like even if he plays a devoted druid, I possibly want to bolt it. Although it's possible that he just passes with company up and then uh, it's awkward. I guess I, at least I have the bolt up. Be able to bolt the monster city. Just looking for a idol of rhetoric, possibly. Kataki. Well, Kataki makes my engine explosives look foolish. I'm gonna just pass. Fortunately, this is flipped, so it's not even an issue. Also Kataki clue combination, very neat. Holy hell, this guy has 19 5 of finishes posted in the last 5 months, all with green white company. LMAO. Yeah, it is pretty funny. I guess it is pretty crazy. I'm gonna bolt Kataki so I can top decay land. Like I need to top decay land anyways. It is awkward because I would like to crack my wellsprings with my opponent's help, but I might not have that luxury. I also might not be interested in flipping the Kral and Hold Howler. Because if I don't flip it, then... It's convenient for me. 
The problem is that my hand probably does not allow for not flipping it. Let me just play the star. Like I'm dead to many things, but I kinda whiffed on lands this game. I play explosives and pass and try for him not to have a Vizier of Remedies, which is a long shot. Yep. I wonder, like maybe that made se it made sense to not play. But like I still needed to hit a land drop. Like of course in the in the how do you say that? After the fact, I see that I drew a land with the second star, so I would have drawn it in my draw step. Like I could possibly validly go for that line, but. Plus is better on the play. Probably cut spine and have negate. Is that right? On the play. I find it to be potentially attractive. Like the company is a big spell, both card selection and otherwise, and I Kinda am slower, so I need to adapt the interactive brawl, and he doesn't have great ways to stop me. The item of rhetoric is a tough one. Does cost free, so E on free blows up those. Let's try that. I did that once and I won, so like. You know. <laughs> Well, this hand cannot bolt it through it yet, but at some point, maybe. I have to be careful not to play my Dark Citadel for no reason if I can avoid that because of uh, Kataki, the worst wage. Waging the war against my Dark Citadels. But this, this hand just needs a Grove. If I draw a Grove on turn 2, it's awesome. And then I draw an extra land. Or a Mox. You know, there are options. There are options. And I'm on the play, so I get to play my 2-drop first. Only then he plays the Devoted Druid and I can devote a removal spell towards it. And it seems like he is visiting the Mulligan City again. This time scrying the bottom. No fetchland tricks on the draw, huh? Of course, scared of the... Monster that is that I said I'm scared of shit Well, I just straight up misclicked here. I wanted to play my wellspring Okay, that's kind of terrible If I miss out on my red sauce because of that then Not gonna be pleasant, but I, j I wanted to click on the wellspring and just clicked on this guy next to it. Fortunately, it's mono hyrax I will save this because it's a red source for this. Okay, neat. Oh, I could have attacked. But saving a... I don't love rhetoric. She cannot fetch now? interesting what is he holding six mana for hard to say I think like it does not get better than it is right now like if I'm getting hit by idol of rhetoric it's kind of unpleasant but we keep playing and I have the EE on free somewhere in my deck to deploy I have a Galvanic Blast too, so I have a Ring Master that can kill it. Oh, he doesn't have the idol on, okay, it's easy then. Kinda bad that I don't get to bring anything with my mirror, but who am I to complain?
Nine of autumn not too effective. That's an infinite loop. Dear me, that was close. I mean, it actually wasn't. It would be close if he would choose to include. I don't know rhetoric in his deck, but 